was branded a state event, produced as a TV special, a celebration of 50 years since Israel, in its government's language, liberated the West Bank and the Golan Heights, territories it has occupied ever since. And a celebration of settlement construction in that land, staged inside the illegal settlement block of Gush Etzion. It's a project that Israel's Prime Minister, for the second time in a month, vowed would never be reversed. I'm saying this very clearly. We will never uproot settlements in the land of Israel. It's not only a matter of connection to the homeland, it's not the way to make peace. For the Palestinians, it's a vital part of any future deal and a fading hope for farmers like Ibrahim Suleiman. He tends his crops in the fields around Gush Etzion, but his family's land has steadily shrunk. He says he lost more than a hectare this year alone and struggles to access land now behind settlement walls. When we're prevented from entering our lands, it affects the harvest. I prepared the land, it cost me around $10,000, but they didn't allow me to plant the saplings. Ibrahim's town of al Hadar is part of a wider picture. Nearly 600,000 Israeli settlers live in the occupied West Bank, including East Jerusalem. In a meeting with their representative council earlier on Wednesday, the Prime Minister reportedly promised another 3,300 new units would be approved next month, which would make more than 7,000 this year. The residents of al Hadar talk not just of having lost their land, but of continuing to lose it. The Israeli Prime Minister recently promised that not a single Israeli settlement would ever be uprooted any time in the future. The reality is they continue to expand. And that's what makes this ostensibly historical commemoration a charged and divisive one. Israel's Supreme Court declined to send a representative to what its president called a political event. Israel's pro-settler right remains at the center of power its Prime Minister doubling down on his commitment to the settlement project. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, in the occupied West Bank.